Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scary204 here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Douglas SPD-3 Dauntless. The Douglas SPD Dauntless is a World War II American Naval Scout Plane and Dive Bomber that was manufactured by Douglas Aircraft from 1940 through 1944. The SPD stands for Scout Bomber Douglas. This was the United States Navy's main carrier-based scout slash dive bomber from mid-1940 through mid-1944. The SPD was flown by the United States Marine Corps, both from land, air bases, and aircraft carriers. The SPD is best remembered as the bomber that delivered the fatal blows to the Japanese carriers at the Battle of Midway in June of 1942. The type earned its nickname the Slow But Deadly from its SPD initials during this period. During its combat service, the SPD proved to be an excellent naval scout plane and dive bomber. It possessed long range, good handling characteristics, maneuverability, uh, potent bomb load, great dive diving characteristics from the proliferated dive brakes, good defensive armament, and ruggedness. One land based variant of the SPD, amending the Aristohook, was purpose built for the United States. Army Air Forces as the A-24 Banshee. So yeah, the SPD-3 Dauntless, a very famous aircraft, like I mentioned uh, when I was giving you a description of it, uh, for its participation in the Battle of Midway. Basically, it was all SPDs that were used that sunk the uh, Japanese carriers. So, quite an impressive uh, rap sheet for the SPD-3, uh, and that's not even looking at all of its uh, service throughout that. The SPD-3 we have here is one of the early war variants, so kind of like the Coral Sea type uh, design, so very uh, reminiscent of the aircraft you would have seen on the uh, Lexington or uh, Yorktown during that battle. Uh, so it's kind of that early war type design, it's got a kind of a one tone, uh, I think it's very close to cyan uh, color, and then it has the red and white stripes on the tail. So very reminiscent of that um, early uh, SPD and early rural aircraft design and then later on we have the kind of two-tone or even sometimes three tones with like the light blue the dark blue and the white and stuff like that um but yeah really nice looking aircraft and again is going to make an awesome addition to any of your you know world war ii pacific type maps a lot of you guys have been asking for it so i'm happy to finally uh deliver on the spd dauntless anyways let's go ahead and kind of dive into it take a look here at the uh aircraft and see what we get going on here so as i mentioned it is, is all one color the, uh, using cyan and prismarine i think it actually works pretty good and gets really, really close to that early world war ii american naval aircraft uh color scheme that they were going with we have the front uh propellers up here pretty standard here regular engine uh pretty standard uh we have the cockpit here so the cockpit I believe, if I remember correctly, it had a crew of three. Um, actually, no, I was thinking, I'm thinking of the Avenger. It had a crew of two, so it had the pilot and a gunner. Um, so that's what we have going on here. The uh, rear gunner, as you can see, we have basically the canopies opened up for the compartments of where each of the crew would be, so the gunner and the uh, pilot, obviously. Um, going ahead and coming back to the here we have the kind of red and white stripes iconic of early um, US uh, Navy aircraft and um, yeah that's pretty much overall really nice looking design for it I think it came out great and again as I mentioned it's gonna make an awesome addition to any of your Pacific World War II maps anyways let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our uh, first layer all right guys going ahead and moving into our first layer we're going ahead and starting off with layer number one now, a few things I want to mention real quick, if uh, you guys are completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way that I structure these tutorials is to do half on camera, half off, what this means I'm going to be building half the aircraft on camera and leaving the other half for you guys to copy over to the other side. For the most part, this aircraft is completely symmetrical besides the uh, wire that kind of runs from the left of the cockpit back to the tail, and we'll kind of talk about that once we get to that point, but just note that everything other than that is pretty much symmetrical on the aircraft, so... Um, whatever we do on one side is going to be the same on the other side. So uh, we're going to build the center line, the right side, and it'll be up to you guys to copy the right side over to the left side, kind of mirroring the image over, and you'll have both sides complete, and then you can move on to the next layer. So pretty straightforward, and it'll make sense once you get for the first few layers. Um, also, this is only the in-flight model, so uh, if you are looking for the landed version, this uh, does not include a landed version, so only in-flight. Just want to throw that out there as well. Anyways, let's go and get started. Um, so one thing I forgot to mention is that I do have a bomb mounted on the bottom here. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's a thousand pound bomb. Um, so that is mounted on the bottom of the aircraft there, and we do have it right there, so in case you are wondering. Uh, but to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a iron trap door, and this is going to be on the top portion of a block, so like that. 
We're going to fold it up and put a nice smooth cord slab. Smooth cords up downstairs, smooth cords top slab, and then a uh, we're going to skip a space and then place down a gray shulker box that's going to be on its side like so. So you want it facing this direction with the top of it facing toward the slab. Coming off this uh, top of the block, we're going to go and place down a wither skeleton skull, and on the bottom of the shulker box, we're going to place down a gray concrete block. We then want to place down a stone brick wall and then a gray concrete block, followed by two iron trap doors on the end there. Going to the sides, we're going to go next to this court stair and place down an iron trap door to the side, followed by a skeleton skull and then one and two end rods and then a smooth quartz top slab. After that, we're going to place down three iron trap doors back after the quartz top slab. We're going to go to the side of the first end rod here, we're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by one, two, three, and four more back, so you have a row of five. And then we want to go and very simply go ahead and go to the second iron trap door, dark oak wood uh, trap door to the side, and then one more right next to it. And what you should have here for layer one is something that looks just like this here from above. So as you can see, we have the mechanism here that holds the gun or holds the gun, uh, holds the bomb in place, and basically just a little bit of the bomb of the fuselage and wings. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number one. And with that, we're going to move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of this trap door on the front, followed by a block or a black concrete block, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Smooth quartz blocks back, quartz upside on the stair, quartz top slab, two iron uh, trap doors like that. We then want to go ahead and skip a space of two blocks, and then we're going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull here on the very end, like so. And uh, we can go and then delete those two blocks there, and we should have something that looks just like that there for your center line. Moving out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab our prismarine stairs. We're going to place down a prismarine stair that's going to be coming off this iron trap door right here. Make sure it's not the dark prismarine. Uh, the one that has a square texture, but you want just the normal prismarine stairs. Uh, we would then want to go ahead and place down a second stair after this one, and then coming off the second stairs face, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull to the side. We then want to place down a cyan concrete block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven smooth quartz full blocks, a cyan concrete block, prismarine stair, and a skeleton skull like that, coming off both sides of this quartz stair on the end there. After that, our next row here, we're going to take our uh, quartz up sand stairs. We're going to place down a quartz up sand stair coming off this quartz full block. Followed by one, two, three quartz full blocks. We're going to then place down a prismarine stair like this. Followed by a stair coming off it. So you have a corner stair, regular stair, and then a second regular uh, stair after that. And then a skeleton skull coming off the side of this cyan terracotta block. Our next row here, uh, we're going to place down a wither, or sorry, another brick up sand stair. And then a row of one, two, three, and four uh, black concrete blocks back, and then a narrow brick slab there on the very end. Our next row to the side here is going to be a row of two of quartz top slabs, a quartz upside down stair, a quartz full block, and a narrow quartz upside down stair, followed by a brick top slab. So it should just look something like this here on the side. Our uh, next row, we're going to go ahead and grab an iron trap door, place down an iron trap door here on the front, followed by one, two, three, and four. Quartz top slabs back, and then an iron trap door. We're going to go then do a row of one, two, and three of iron trap doors, a quartz slab, and then one iron trap door like that. And then we're going to very simply just do a row of five of iron trap doors across. And once you have that done, you're going to take what we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side, and this is what you should have uh, four layers, one for two so far. And that right there is going to complete layer two. And let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a stone brick wall that's going to go on top of this iron trap door. Come off the stone brick wall toward the front, we're going to place down a red concrete block, followed by a skeleton skull come off the red concrete block. Going toward the opposite direction with our stone brick wall, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four black concrete blocks. Followed by an end rod, which will be part of the interior, a narrow brick slab, two black concrete blocks, a polished anisite block, a stone pressure plate, then one, two, three, and four cyan uh, concrete blocks, one, two, three, and four smooth quartz blocks, and smooth quartz top slab there on the end. Also on the bottom here of the uh, third uh, smooth quartz block here, we're going to place down a lever on the bottom of the block and make sure it's facing toward that. Uh, wither skeleton skull there on the very end. 
After that's all complete, we're going to go ahead and start working our way out to the side. We're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on this prismarine stair, open up to the side like that, and a trapdoor on the uh, other, other side of it like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block and a birchwood trapdoor on the side of it like that again. And we're going to go ahead and place down a cyan concrete block, prismarine wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine prismarine blocks, or uh, cyan terracotta blocks back, and then two prismarine walls and then a skeleton skull to finish that off. After that's done, moving into the wings here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and using our cyan carpet here. We're going to place down a cyan carpet right there in the front, followed by three iron trap doors back. Our next row here, we're going to take black carpet. We're going to place down one, two, three, four uh, black carpets along this row here. We then want to place down three iron trap doors, followed by two cyan carpets. After that, we're going to take our iron trap doors, place down one, two, three, four, five, and then a cyan carpet. We can also uh, take a red carpet and we can place it down on top of this brick slab as well. So you can do that as well. Um, we're going to go and then take our prismarine slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four prismarine slabs back and then two iron trap doors after that. We then want our prismarine stairs here. And we're going to place down a prismarine slab up here in the front, followed by one, two, and three prismarine stairs at the backs of the stairs facing toward the outside of the wing, and then a prismarine slab there on the ends. Our next row here, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz upside on the stair, which is going to be coming off this prismarine slab, or sorry, coming off the prismarine stair here. And then after that, we're going to go, and go back with a row of two of quartz, smooth quartz full blocks, and then a prismarine stair like this on the end of that row. We're going to then take our quartz slabs, we're going to do a row of three of quartz top slabs, and then a stone brick top slab here on the very end. So just like that. Then uh, we want to go and then place down an iron trap door up here, followed by a smooth quartz slab, a iron trap door, and that right there is going to basically do it for that. Then out to the side here, we're going to place down one and two iron trap doors just like that. And once you have that all complete there, that's going to basically wrap up what we have for uh, layer number uh, three for the build. And you can see we start to get our wings built up a little bit more and our fuselage starting to take some shape. So anyways, that is it for layer three. Again, here's a aerial overview of what it should look like. And with that, we're going to move into our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and place down an iron trapdoor this spot right here followed by a black concrete block after it. We then want to place down a row of two of cyan concrete followed by a smithing table and then turn off the smithing table we're going to place down an item frame with a compass in like that for the gauges here for the dash of the uh, cockpit. We're then going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this end rod and then we're going to place down a, a black concrete block or two black concrete blocks on top of these two and then a light gray banner coming off the black concrete block here toward the front to make your pilot's seat. After that, going back, we're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this polished andesite block, followed by a stone brick stair on top of the cyan concrete block. Going back from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four uh, of these cyan concrete blocks back, two smooth quartz blocks back, and then uh, two red concrete blocks like that to go and finish off that to the tail. Go ahead and go back up to the front and out to the sides. We're going to place down a prismarine stair on top of this birchwood trap door here. And then after that prismarine stair, we're going to place down a stair or corner stair coming off of it. We then want to place down an additional stair like this and a corner stair coming off that stair like so. After that, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six uh, cyan concrete blocks, a stone brick wall, and then coming off the side of the stone brick wall, we're going to place down a cyan banner. We're going to go ahead and then place down a prismarine stair like this. One stair coming off it, so you have a corner stair, regular stair, and then one, two, three uh, prismarine walls. After that, uh, we're going to place down one and two quartz top slabs like that out to the side here. We then want to go and place down a row of five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then a skeleton skull come off the third slab like that. And then our next row, one, two, three, four stone brick top slabs and a quartz top slab there on the very end. And um, once that's all done there, that is going to pretty much wrap it up here for this layer. One last thing I will show you guys is how to make this little banner design here to kind of represent the blue circle with the white star. It's not the, obviously the greatest here, but 
Uh, it's kind of the best we have for what we're trying to work with here. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these two banners real quick. That will wrap up layer four. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go and make those banners and wrap up the layer. Alright guys, so making these banners is really straightforward. All we're going to do is place down a loom. We're going to grab two white banners and some blue and actually we only need blue dye. Um, so we're going to go into our loom here. We're going to place our first banner in. And we're going to go and take our blue dye and put it in the dye slot. We're going to go and select the bottom uh, left hand corner box. That's our first uh, die right there. And then we're going to go and then select the top left hand corner. And that's our first banner done. As I mentioned, it's super easy. We're going to go do the same thing here with this banner, except we're going to do the right side. So right bottom corner and top right corner, just like that. And we have these two banners, which look like this. And very simply, we're going to go to the prismarine wall here and the prismarine stair. And we're just going to place down these uh, two banners, just like that on the side there. And anyways, once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up basically what we have here for layer four. And again, here's a overview of what it looks like. Uh, or actually, my bad. We aren't even we aren't, we aren't done. I forgot the wings. Um, so uh, yeah, good thing I caught that and doing that over overview. I was like, oh, that doesn't look right. Why is the wing like stubby? Uh, anyways, the wings. Uh, pretty straightforward. We're just gonna go and go to this row three, of course. We're gonna place our row three of cyan carpet a iron trap door and then two cyan carpets after it we're going to place down there two iron trap doors a cyan carpet or sorry my bad actually a stone pressure plate like that we then want to go ahead and go up with two prismarine slabs a stone brick slab we're going to do the same thing again two prismarine slabs and a stone brick slab and lastly a prismarine slab coming off the middle one just like that and after that's all complete there that is going to wrap up what we have here for uh layer number uh layer number four here and with that, we're going to move into our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number five. For layer five, to go and get start with, we're going to place down a cyan carpet on top of this iron trap door, followed by three iron trap doors back from that carpet. We're going to go and then place down an air brick stair, a light gray stained glass block. We're going to go and then skip a space over this cockpit section, place down two light gray stained glass blocks. You guys can uh, put a light gray stained glass block right here to close this canopy off if you want to. However, I like the look of having it open. So for me, in my model, I'm going to keep it open like so. Um, and that right there is going to finish that off. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides. We're going to place down a wither skeleton squad at a slight angle like that to the side of this narrow brick stair. Followed by a light gray stained glass pane on both sides. If you are choosing to leave the space open here, we're going to place down a stone button on both sides. However, if you are choosing to make the canopy full, you're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane on both sides. Uh, we're going to then place down two light gray stained glass panes next to these two full blocks like so. Also, one thing to mention is that up here in the front on this prismarine corner stair, and this is going to be to the left side and the left side only, we're going to place down another brick fence post just like that. So make sure that that is only here on the left side. Anyways, after that's done, we're going to then place down a stone button back from it. We then want to go and go to this section. We're going to place down another brick upside down stair on top of this um, stone brick upside down stair. And then come off that narrow brick upside down stair and place down two uh, of these um, dark oak wood fence gates going back like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this uh, narrow brick upside down stair. And we also want to place down a dragon head, which uh, will basically be placing a block down here and placing a dragon head on top of it, just like that. And that will be the back there for our machine gun there. After that, uh, we're going to place down an iron trap door after this last dark grid fence gate, followed by a prismarine slab, two cyan concrete blocks, and then two smooth quartz blocks right down the end. And then on top of each one of these quartz top slabs, we're just going to place down uh, some cyan carpet on top to go ahead and keep that you know nice consistent color there. And anyways, uh, that right there is going to wrap it up there for layer number six. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to consist basically of layers seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to go ahead and basically do the rigging and all the little top bits and the vertical stabilizer that we have left. So with that, let's go ahead and move into layers uh, 7 through 10. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers, we're moving into layers 6 through 9. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to our narrow brick fence post. We're going to place down a narrow fence post on top of it, followed by a zombie head, or sorry, a skeleton skull on the very top there of the fence post. From that, we're going to go to our cockpit here, canopy, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of the slight gray stainless block, and then two narrow brick slabs on top of those two glass blocks as well. We then want to place down a red stone repeater on top of this narrow brick up sound stair. And then for our tail here, we're going to place down a, a uh, what is going to be a cyan terracotta block right here, followed by a red concrete block after it, 
And then we're going to place down a brick wall at the very end here. So let me grab that brick wall real quick. And... Should be right here. There we are. We're going to place down a brick wall like that. And again, stone button on both sides of this red concrete block. Good enough for this, we're going to place down a prismarine wall on top of this cyan concrete block. A smooth quartz block on top of this uh, red concrete block and a stone button there on both sides. And then a diamond wall there on top of that uh, brick wall. Then on the top here, we're going to place down another red concrete block. Stone button on both sides. And then we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of that red concrete block. Followed by a iron trap door on the very top there. Just like that. After that's uh, all done there, the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and do our uh, rigging here. So, for rigging, real simple, we're going to go to this skeleton skull. We're going to place down one, two, and three uh, of these barrier blocks back. Actually, sorry, it's going to be a row of six, actually. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first three, we're going to take stone buttons. We're going to place them down one, two, three, stone buttons on the left side. And then we're going to go to the last three and place down stone buttons on the top of those blocks. We then want to go ahead and go up and over with a barrier block like this. And we're going to place down a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven barrier blocks. So it should look something like that. After that's done, we're going to go, ahead and go to the first three barrier blocks here. We're going to go, ahead and go one, two, three, stone buttons on the side here, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, stone buttons like that on the last four blocks on top of them and that right there is going to complete uh, That and the last thing we have for this aircraft is to go ahead and do the props for it. So real simple uh, The prop design is we're going to go to this red concrete block right there Arabic slabs we're going to place down one and two Arabic slabs the side here and a birch wood top slab We don't want to go and go over to the air side here come off the stair and place down an Arabic wall up at an angle and there an air brick wall and then a up an angle again and a birch wood slab like that. Go ahead and going down, we're gonna go ahead and place down a air brick wall, followed by an air brick wall that comes down to the side here, and then a sandstone wall like that right after that. And your props will look something just like that there for the front. And with that all complete there, that is gonna wrap up my design for the Douglas SBD3 Dauntless. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the build and are able to put good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from the sound of the build, to my channel, or this video. Um, if this is appearing on social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use your favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys all again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been great to be before, and I'll see you guys next time.